welcome to the workshop of Mega Supplies. We are very happy to introduce uh, our take on the linear actuator, uh, the uh, tensioning version from Open Builds. We have made some modifications and additions that uh, I think will make it uh, even better uh, for more heavy duty applications. Uh, first of all, uh, we have added some spring discs uh, here on the tensioning system and you will, will later see Rasmus how he is applying them. But it is in order to remove this slight wobble that the tensioning knot tend to have. Secondly, we have designed a new gantry plate that allows the use of linear guides as the drive system. And also there is, but you can't see it, there is a spacer that uh, will help us do the connection between the anti-backlash knot and the gantry plate. One detail of the gantry plate is that we have positioned holes on it so that you can actually take a second one, turn it 90 degree and then you attach the two so you can make an X, uh, Y stage out of this system. So now I will uh, leave the scene to Rasmus and he will show you how to assemble this one uh, step by step. So we'll start out by doing the first part of the manual. I've put all the components I need for this step in front of me and now I'll start preparing the linear guides. What I like to do when preparing these is put them on the edge of the table like this and grab the screws and the t nuts and insert the screw like this and then thread it once or twice onto the t nut will make it easier to slide it onto the C-beam later. Now I'm ready to slide the linear guide onto the C-beam. What I'm doing here is guiding the T-nut with the lower fingers. Now I'll center the linear guide on the C-beam. And now to make sure it, it stays there, I will just lightly tighten this screw. At this point I'm ready to align one of the linear guides. I'll be using our alignment tool. We'll slide it into this slot. I'll tighten it to the C-beam. Now I'll loosen this screw. Just tighten it over here instead. This will just make it easier to ensure that the linear guide is centered on the CB. Now, while the linear guide is able to be moved back and forth, I will press it against the alignment tool and then tighten it. Now I can loosen this screw. And now I can move the alignment tool to the next screw. When moving the alignment tool, I can gradually skip more and more screws while aligning the, the linear guide. So for longer pieces like one and a half meter actuators, I would skip maybe one or two screws every time I move the alignment tool. So in this case, I'll skip the, this screw. And now I can tighten it. Now this linear guide has been tightened and this is still loose while being fastened just by this screw. In this step we'll install the top plate. We'll start by doing the anti-backlash nut. I'll insert the grub screw. And just before it hits, I'll 
put it in the acne rub. Now I can tighten the set screw until it uh, goes backlash free with the acne rod. Now we are ready to put the anti-backlash nut onto the top plate. So I'll remove the screw. Then I'll insert these screws in the top holes. And now the anti-backlash nut will have to point towards the center of the plate. We won't tighten these up just yet, just to let the acne screw align it, so it can move freely like this. Now we are ready to slide the linear guide blocks onto the linear guides. It's very important when working with these that the plastic piece stays inside at all times when it's not on the linear guide. So when we slide it onto the linear guide, we'll replace the plastic piece with the steel piece. Now we'll tighten the top plate to the linear guide block which sits on the fixed linear guide. In my case it is this linear guide that is fixed. Now I'll insert these screws loosely. Now we can loosen this screw. We can let the top plate align everything. At this point I'll tighten one screw over here. Now this distance is fixed and I can let the top plate align the other linear guide. Now I'll tighten this screw. and I'll move the sub plate and I'll tighten the remaining screws on the linear guide. At this point I can tighten the remaining screws Now 
now the top plate should be able to slide back and forth very smoothly with no points where there is increased friction. Also remember when moving this back and forth, be very careful to not slide the linear guide blocks beyond the edge of the linear guides. Now we are ready to install the lead screw. Sometimes these lead screws can have a tight tolerance against the bearings. So in this case, the bearing is a little tight on the lead screw and we'll have to sand it a bit. One of the techniques we use to do this is to put it in a drill. Now we can sand it like this. Now the bearing fits much better onto the lead screw. We'll do it for the other side as well. Now we are ready to install the lead screw. Now we can start putting the bearings in the plates. Now I'll install the end plates on the CD. Now I can put on the thrust bearings. dish springs in this side now we're ready to tension the acme screw so i'll take my small screwdriver i'll put it in the coupler and let it rest against the table now i can undo this screw in my case i'll just have to let it sit beyond the table here. And now I'll tighten it until the dish springs are half compressed. So when, when tightening this, I can see that the dish springs are becoming compressed. And I can feel when it becomes fully compressed, but I want them half compressed. And now I'll tighten this set screw.
Now the Agni rod has been correctly tensioned. At this point we are ready to tighten the anti-backlash nut. I like to just tighten both, both screws and undo them just a little bit. And then try to tighten them in a way so they don't pull the anti-backlash nut at an angle against the Acme rod. Now I'll just test that it moves smoothly. Now we're ready for the last part of the manual. I'll start by inserting the screws into the motor holes here. Then I'll slide on these spacers. Now I can start loosely doing up these screws. Now I'll tighten them. Now we've finished assembling the actuator and I hope this video helped you.